are supposed to talk about inspiration that will come to you and that can make your life good, better. But kabhi aapne Punar Janam ka naam suna hai? Of course, in India we really hear about Punar Janam and we see a lot of Bollywood movies about Punar Janam, that life after death, the new life. One of the examples of rebirth is standing right in front of you. That's me, who's born twice in one life. My story is about rags to riches, means na kahi se kahi aur pahunchna. Life mein hume bahut baar choices milti hai. Life throws lot of choices on us. You know, I chose to be who I am. I chose my name. I chose to be a woman who is standing in front of you. I chose to be a beauty queen. I chose to be an inspiration to not just my community, but to everyone who's out there. I was born in a body which never belonged to me, but I was born as a woman. A lot of people, especially journalists, this asked me, so ma'am, when did you come out? I said, I only came out once. That was from my mother's womb. After that, I never came out. So they asked such questions that you know, embarrassment put question mark. And they asked me various questions like, how do you feel to be a transgender woman? I said, how do you feel being a man? How do you feel being a woman? Same. There's no change, there's no difference at all, right? So, well, let's start. When I was born, my parents were very happy because I was the first ever male child in my family. People were happy celebrating, but little did my parents know that their happiness would not last longer because God bestowed them a girl child, not a boy child. <laughs> because I was a woman from child, I used to play with dolls, I used to have girlfriends, I used to hang out with girls, I used to be play ghar ghar, you know, and I'm talking about 46 years ago, you know, even today also, it is not acceptable, but in our time, it was like a taboo. Hey, dekh ladka, how is she walking? Hey, munda hai ke kuri hai? Like, boy is a girl. Is she a boy or a girl? Huh? Hey, hey, kinnar to nahi hai koi? Hijra to nahi hai koi? So, these thorns were like flaunting in my house every day. So, my parents said, uh, what should we do? So, they sent me to my uh, maternal uh, uncle's place in Mumbai because Mumbai is very different from Delhi because even that time Mumbai was very different. They said, Maha ja ke shayat, you know, this boy of our boy who thinks he's a girl will become a boy eventually. Wo hona hi tha because I was born as a girl. Main, how can I become a boy? But anyways, unhone bahut ke saath bhez diya par. But imagine the situation. Now sad part is that a seven year old little child being abandoned from the family for no fault of his or her. Was it my choice to be a born as a woman inside somebody else's body? No, it was not my choice. Was it the fault of my parents? I don't know. Maybe something happened, chromosome happened, genes happened, I don't know what happened. So why I am blamed for something which I have not done? Why people call me abnormal? What so, you know, your eyes are okay, used to certain things, boy or a girl, you are used to this. But transgenders exist and we exist from the time of Lord Rama. Lord Rama, I don't know how many of you have heard the story, let me tell this story short. When he went to exile, um, he was crossing the river and he told everybody, Nar, Nari, Paru, Pashu, Pakshi, please all go to your home. You know, means men, women, all the birds and you know, animals, please go in to your home. We'll meet you after 14 years. When he comes back, he said there's a set of people who are sitting there and waiting for him. And they were neither man or a woman. They were kidners. And Lord Rama was very happy and blessed them that from today, your blessings shall count. Your uh, curse shall count. He gave the blessings. Now come to the phase of Mahabharata. 
you know about Shikhandini, right? Shikhandini was in earlier birth was a woman who wanted to take her revenge from Bhishma and she was again born as a woman in the birth of Mahabharata. She was not allowed to go to the war. To go to the war, she had to exchange her body with a man, with Daksha. And from Shikhandini, she became Shikhandi and that is how Bhishma died. If we didn't exist, Mahabharata would have won by Kauravas, not Pandavas. Because unless until Bhishma was alive, Kauravas couldn't have, you know, they wouldn't have won uh, Mahabharata. So give us some credit, you know, for that. But the sad part is, the sad part is, you know, Krishna told her that from now on, your life is going to be sad. From a princess she was, and she was born at Drupad's house, she had to go and live life of uh, loneliness. And that is where the Hijra culture started. Hijra means Hijru, means life of loneliness, you know. There are a lot of stories that you'll find in mythology books, but let's keep that aside. But I wanted to introduce you to the trans people because today people think that, you know, being a trans person is a fashion. I'm sorry, it's not a fashion, it's about coming out. It's about, you know, we are expressing ourselves. We are fighting for our rights. We are saying that we don't want any discrimination from anybody. We are women of today who say no. We have learned to say no to discrimination. We have learned to say no to all the odds and everything that society has been throwing us from, you know, time immemorial. We have said no to harassments. Today, we are standing tall because we have fought for the, our rights. Today, we are legally a third gender in India. Today, we can marry a heterosexual man. So, you can understand what fight we've gone through. Anyways, I was sent to Mumbai. In Mumbai, I was working at a dhaba in the morning and I was going to the school in the e evening. And when I was to come back home, I used to help my uh, mama and mommy with the work. This continued till the age of 11 when something miserable happened to me. And I didn't know what happened to me. There was a party going on in my home. I was made to have a drink, a Coca-Cola, you know, and I slept. Morning I wake up, I was in a hospital and I see glucose ka bottle chal raha hai and I've got bruises all over. I didn't know what happened. My uncle said, I'm going to come tomorrow and take you from here and we hum, hum ghar jayenge, hum log. I said, theek hai. So he never came. You know what he did? There were, you know, uh, people of Kinnar Samaj who was sitting there. He sold me to them. And the Kinnar Samaj, you know, held my head and said, chalo. I went with them. They asked me to now start begging. I remember I used to go to the church gate, red light, dress up as a doll and say, Now, I, I hated myself for doing that. Trust me. That was not my destiny. That was not I chose to do that. I told Guruma that, look, if you are not going to let me go from here, I am going to commit suicide. She said, we have spent money on you. We want that money back. I said, do whatever you want to do. She sold me to a dance bar. Imagine, at the age of 13, I was at a dance bar. Dancing, doing odd jobs, like a prostitution at 13, and, and what not? My life became hell. But you know what was the good part? I was very rich at 13. I owned my first mobile phone in 1999, when people didn't have mobile phones. I owned my first laptop when I was 18. That was a good part that I had a lot of money. But sad part, okay, destiny me jo hua hua, I care a damn. Okay, what was written in my destiny, I accepted it. But I said I'm not going to say no to education. I studied. I had science in 11th and 12th and I passed with flying colors. I wanted to be an architect. But sadly, none of the architecture schools in Delhi they wanted to give me admission because I was very, you know, like a girl. So they didn't want to give me admission. So that time I met my cousin sister named Viveka Babaji, who was a top model in 2000s. She was Miss Mauritius 1994, uh, who uh, competed with Sushmila Sen in 1994 Miss Universe competition. And hardly did I know that from her Miss Universe 1994, and she competed in 2022, I'll be Miss Universe Diversity. I didn't know at all. So this is a story where you can say there's only one thing 
that is constant in our life, that is time. Samay wo hai, jo kisi ka bhi badal sakta hai. Thik hai? Hamesha we should always respect people because kabhi nahi pata ki kaun kap kahan ban jai. Right? Ho sakta hai, the boy next to you is like, you know, not good in studies. But tomorrow you can never know he can be a prime minister. So don't disrespect anybody, please, you know. And coming forward, I, she got me admission at NIFT. I was a topper at NIFT. And I got, uh, I uh, passed out with flying colors again there because I was a very bright student, you know. And I loved fashion and I loved everything. So uh, I got my first job with Ritu Kumar. I remember I used to stay in Gurugaon and her studio is in Udyog Vihar. My first salary in 2001 um, was 25,000 rupees. And I had my first home then. On rent only, but that was my first home. The first time this, you know, caterpillar became butterfly. Because financially independence gives you wings, you know. And then I was introduced to the LGBT community of in Delhi and I started going to parties. I started meeting a lot of gorgeous people. One fine uh, party I remember, I met a very gorgeous woman. And I said, oh ma'am, you look so gorgeous. Are you lesbian? She said, no. I said, then what are you? She said, I'm a trans woman. Huh? I said, what is this trans woman? I don't know what is trans woman. Huh? She tells me, girl. I said, girl? I was a boy. Girl. I was like you, few years ago. I said, oh my God, really? But how this magic happened? Then she told me the entire story. She went, went for surgery and test and whatnot. I said, yeah, maza aage ab to. Ab to mujhe bhi yehi karna hai. I want to be a woman now. Because I remember when I used to go to temple, log mangte hain, hai bhagwan humare achcha pati mil jaye. Log mangte hain, hai bhagwan humare ko achche number aa jaye. Log kya kya mangte hain, achcha bachcha ho jaye. Main mangti thi, hai bhagwan, mujhe ladki bana dena abhi dhiram mein, bas. Agle jaram mujhe bittiya hi dijiyo. You know, that serial you all know. So, my dream was like right in front of me, like that, like, but how to go there? Because I did it five lakh rupees. So what to do? I applied at so many places for jobs. No one gave me a job. Baby, you're very feminine. What happens if our curry girls look at you and they fall in love with you? Our, you know, workplace is going to go down. Our productivity is going to go down. I said, see the brighter side. It may be your productive goes up. You never know. And they said, sorry, we can't give you a job. I said, bye bye, no problem. So I came back to my old job. That was sex work. Okay, here in sex work in Delhi was a very diff different story. I'm not getting into that. But the bright side is my first ever photographer spotted me at this place. And he got me a project which was called Life of a Trans Prostitute. He went to so many people, no one accepted it. I accepted that offer. That pictures, I have still, till now I have those pictures. Trust me, that gave me goosebumps. Can you imagine, I'm just gonna give one example. He made me stand on a red light area. Imagine, doesn't belong to me, it oh, belongs to somebody else. I asked me to drop a pallu and say stand like this. Every car, every motorbike, what's your price? <gasps> I got so this thing, scared. And that stupid man, that photographer, was standing right at the back. I said, Mujhe kuch hai, there were you know, other girls who were coming with this sharp knife. Kiska toh jam chehra hai bigaad denge. Aagai humare yaan pe. Hara kaam khane. Then he clicked picture, but I ran. I ran from there. But you know what was the good side? I got five lakh rupees to do this assignment. Imagine. And 2013, I got a rebirth as a woman that I wanted to be, always. Okay. So the second thing is, now what to do? Ab tumhe ladki ban gai, ab mein kya karun? Now this guy tells me, Rishi, you know what? Your uh, pictures have become viral. I said, what is viral? I said, I don't have viral fever. What is viral? He said that aapki picture was hit ho gai hai. Because we didn't understand in 2013 what is being viral. Because we don't have Instagram and we don't have, you know, YouTube to see what is viral video, you know? So I said, so what do I do? Do you have some money to get out of here? He said, no money. I said, then what honey? He said, <laughs> he said, you know what? You're getting a job as a model at Rai San Designer Festival, which was supposed to be organized at Bidla Auditorium in 2013. I said, good. But how much money, honey? He says, 10 grand per show. And my stay in food, oh, I'm going to be taken care. I'm going to go, I go, okay, Bidla Auditorium getting ready, everything. And then there's this designer comes, 
Who am I doing this? How am I doing show stopping for? I said, I'm a model. I'm not doing show stopping for anybody. Be my show stopper. I said, again, same question. How much money, honey? He tells me, I'll give 30 grand. I said, but I'm getting five grand you know, per show. I was getting 15 grand for three shows. I was, I was booked for three shows. He had given me 30 grand. I was on the very happy. I started walking for him. The first time I walked the ramp, I was totally blank, okay? I was just walking, walking, walking. And at the back, of course, there was a, a whole video, and they, everybody started shouting, Nas, 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 they started shouting. I said, Mr. Hito, okay? After that, there was no looking back. I became India's first transgender cover model for Tehelka magazine. Then, in 2016, came an opportunity for me to represent India at Miss United Nations uh, contest. They said, we're looking for a girl. My assistant sent me pictures because I look like a girl in photographs because a lot of Photoshop happens. They said, oh, we like this girl. We want her to be there in Miss United Nations pageant. May bechari apna pura bag lekar, national costume lekar, evening gown lekar, pahunch gai Jamaica. Mujh bhusta hai, my director. Are you tranny? I said, yes, I'm tranny. What to do? He said, our pageant doesn't allow tranny. You have separate pageant for tranny. Go. I said, I spent over a lakh to come here. Now please allow me to, you know, do this show. And he said, okay. I did the show and I won it. 2016 was the first time I became India's first international transgender queen. And till 2023, I have not lost any single pageant. I have been winning all the pageants. So in the end, I'm going to sum up with only one thing, that please have choices. On every walk of life, people are going to give you choices. You have to have the best choice. Number two, have resilience. Have power. The power is within you. You have to discover your power. Number four, don't get bothered from what people are saying. And last, not the least, never say die. Okay? Kabi nahi bolna hai ki meri umar ye ho gayi hai, mein to nahi kar sakta hai, meri umar ye ho gayi hai. At 47, if I can be beauty queen, trust me guys and girls, you are much younger to me, you can be anything in your life. Thank you so much. Namaste.